Yo, what is up everyone? This is a boy Nemesis and welcome to another Tekken 7 video guys. Season 4 is here. Season 4 is here. There's so much going on right now, so I don't really want to talk a lot. This video is about Lars, so let me not go uh, talk about different shit. So okay, so Lars got buffed, but is he top tier? Like are these the buffs we needed? Or the ones we deserved? How good is Lars now? Is it good, dear? You know, those kind of questions. And I know you don't want to hear this, guys, but no. No, no, no. Lars is just not it. He's still, he's still, he's still a shell of what, you know, what he'd actually be. He's still a shell of that. They gave us changes. The changes they gave us were good, but they are not the, the changes we needed, you know, as Lars means. But he's still good. He's, he's, he's good, he's, I mean he's better now obviously because of the buffs, but it's 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 kind of a, you know, brrr, it's kind of a win-lose situation I guess. Okay, so let's talk about the changes. I won't talk about all the changes, I'll talk about the necessary ones. So 1-1-1, one, 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 good damage buff. This is good because it knocks out away really far, unlike Julia 1-1-1 one, 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 which leaves you like right there. So this is good. In Dragon of 1 to 1, this is good. It'll give it a little more damage, so you know that's good. Um, silent entry, um, dynamic entry 3 is now plus 6 from plus 4, and it leaves you right next to your opponent. Right next to your opponent. So you have frame traps now with this move, which is hella good. It's an Oki, it's as Oki, also it's a wall bounce, so it's you know, it's very good. You do stuff like that you have to respect or you trade you know uh down forward one becomes an interruptible i haven't tested everything yet guys i'm just going by the book right now so probably this can be stepped yep so it's not perfect it's not perfect but it's good it's good plus leaves you close that's very good that's hella good uh ce down forward one is now a counter hit launcher so zero on block, counter hit launcher, uh, floats you hey, way up in there, all the way up. So it's it's a match change, you know, you rarely hit this as counter hit, but when you get it, you get it. So it's good, it's hella good, it's hella good, it's very good. He has a new move from CE. I believe this is, oh, I believe this is safe as well. I'm going by the book guys, I haven't prepared, this is no, this is not scripted, I'm just testing everything as I go, so this is safe, which is good, it means you can mix it up with uh, CE2, CE2 which is now minus 12, so you won't worry about Josie and Kazuya launching this anymore, which is good. So the new move is primarily just used for combo extensions, so... His old combo was this, just to give you guys an idea. 69, now this is his new one. Sorry. What the hell? It's a YouTube curse. Bim bam. Look at that. That's 70 damage, 10 hit combo, insane walker. If you're worried about Julia, bro. You gotta worry about Lars now, cause that's some <laughs> that's some insane. Okay, so it's pretty good, it's pretty good, very very useful. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this was nerfed. This is now mid mid. This is insane. Okay, it's uh, this was never pretty. It's just not, not not really a neutral too. So you know, it's it's kind of meh. It's a green rank move, so it doesn't really matter. But minus fourteen. If you just throw this out, yolo. You're gonna get punished for it. Minus 14, you're gonna get launched. The character has 14 frame launches, so you know. It's me. It's me. It's me. This is now plus one. This is hella good. This is now plus one, which is good. Like Lars has no frames, good frames on his laws, so this is good. It's a start. It's a start. It's good. Plus one, you know, so you can do this. Uh, down back one three, one one one. You know, which is good. One jab, four jabs. You can even step now, like step cleanly because you're plus one, so which is good, which is good, which is good. Back four, increased damage on counter hit. 55, just to do 50, so now it's 55. Uh, ooh, 4 plus 2 is safe. This is huge. 
this is huge 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 guys gigas lily you know the guy has the long arms could punish this bob so this is now good it's now safe minus nine very 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 good hella good so you can do the chip setups like you know the arc blast that's good guys that's very good very good very good nice uh one standing one two one this is good this this is perhaps the best buff to allow this and down back one three what the hell i'm trying to slow it down you're gonna slow it down eh? look at that it launches now guys that's insane that's good Okay, so let's talk about Lars's Rage Drive. So Lars has a new Rage Drive, and it's kind of like Fakumram's, Fakumram's uh, other Rage Drive, except his doesn't screw. It does the spike, the, you know, the Dragonov spike, the Brand spike. So I would say this Rage Drive is like a five, okay, a six out of ten, cause it doesn't give us the, it doesn't give that much damage because it's a law. No, you can get the shoulder. That's 50, pretty much 50. Secondly, it comes from stance again. Like they gave him two regions from stance. But the thing about this one is that at least it's easily accessible because you just do 4 3. Unlike the other one, you know, you have to do like two transitions. But this one is instant. And the good thing about this one is what it's got the good mix up with the three and the two. So that's why I say it's like a six. And the worst part about this rage drive, the worst part about this rage drive is you can't spike after a really long combo. So let me just show you guys. Like, you just can't. Boom, it whiffs. Even a short combo, he's season 2 combo. It whiffs. 5 hits. It whiffs. So unless you do the easy stuff like this. So it's not really as good as Dragonov can like carry the shit out of you and spike you with the rage drive for max damage. So can Brian, you know, Anna, but with Lars you can't do that. You can't do that. So they really want you to use it more as a mix up in neutral. So that's pretty much all the last changes. All the last changes. So is he good? Is he good guys? <sighs> He's <laughs> Lars, you know, Lars always been in this place where people say he's bad, other people say he's good, other people say he's decent. But I think he just can't catch up with everyone. He's still way behind. The power creep is too much on him right now. He's still way, way behind. He needs more. I wish I gave him an improved back one, you know. I wish it spiked like the way things new count it. Uh, uh, one, two, one, spike. You know, the Steve down for two spike to a guaranteed shoulder like that. I wish they did that, I wish they gave him a new home. This should have been homing, you know. Uh, they could have buffed his power crash to activate way faster, you know. Uh, oh yeah, down back four was buffed as well. It leaves you closer now and it does more damage. Which is not huge, but it's good, it's good. It's still, you know, it's still down back four. So Lars is just a shell of what he could possibly be. But it's just, I don't know if we're getting a season five, you know, but I don't want to talk too soon, but I think he's not, he's not, mm -mm, mm -mm. He, he needs more. I'm, I don't think I'll play him. I'm not playing Lars. There's better characters <laughs> I'm going to talk about later, but he's still my favorite character in the game. But I just don't think I'll pick him up. So that's Lars, guys. That's Lars. He's got new, new string, the new combo, new combo extensions with the new, the new moves. He's got a cool ass rage drive. Comeback factor, which is good from the stance, a different stance as well. Plus one on his low, you know, one on one more damage. CH launcher from this. This is now minus 12. So Lars is it's an improvement. It's an improvement. So that's Lars, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Show some support for your boy. And yeah, GG.